Our house is really nice and clean today, so we figured why not show you guys what our house looks like. Around one year later, we technically bought at the end of October of 2020, didn't move in here till February of 2021, and now it's May 2022. We're gonna show you guys a little bit of back before, afters, I'm gonna explain the whole thing. This could be a very rambly video, but we haven't done like a house update slash tour in a very long time. Where you guys are right now is the hallway. I wanna show you guys some B-roll of it, but essentially it stayed the same. We do have like a shoe storage issue, and by we, I mean I have a, sto a shoe storage issue where I just wear a lot of shoes, they're always on heavy rotation. I need to figure out something a little bit nicer. This is our living room, guys. The house was built in 1956, and it still has a lot of original charm. The only thing we ended up doing was really painting the ceiling um, for a lot of reasons. Every single choice that we've made in this house was not impulsive, trust me but this is like our living room slash family room. This chest was, not chest, what is this called? TV console. Um, it was actually from my mom's work. They were moving things around, didn't need it anymore, so we gotta keep it. It's very, very heavy. Has a little bit of nicks and stuff like that. We do plan to paint it at some point, but we don't know what color. Not much has changed around here. Kind of looks the same, but obviously looks very different from when we first moved in. We finally have our sofa in full form. Um, I bought some blankets to put on top of it because we do have a dog and he likes to play on this and jump on it. We're not above having our animals on furniture. Yeah, this is where we watch movies. We honestly eat a lot of meals at the coffee table. This is a Noguchi replica from uh, Attorney Modern. The fresh flowers aren't just here just because you guys are here. I love fresh flowers, especially in the summertime. I tend to change out our flowers every week or every other week. Yeah, the blankets are from HomeSense. These pillows are from H&M. That pillow came with it. And then this little Sherpa thing, which I know would definitely not be Paige Wassel approved, but I really like it. It is uh, from Indigo. So yeah, this is where we eat, drink, sleep, watch TV. One thing I said I would do here is get a frame TV and that's why we did the outlets in the wall, but we actually haven't done that. It's one of those things I thought I would do, but still on our list, but haven't done exactly yet. I actually really like the size of our TV, but one thing we did add is a Sono sound system. So we have a sound bar here. You'll notice the speakers are kind of scattered all over the place. So we have full on like surround sound in our like main area like our common space which is really really great big shout out to our robot vacuum i already talked about it in a vlog but we love it especially if you live in more open concept situation like we do it's so great but i feel like last time we checked in on this this wasn't really a space i for a long time we did not have a dining table and we actually found the perfect one through shop clover which is a vintage seller on instagram she sourced us this beautiful travertine table we love it the chairs are actually a Kijiji find. Um, I picked up a bunch of them. I mean, they're mid-century, they're teak, they're in decent shape, and we actually recovered the seats. So the newest thing that we have here is this office. Originally, it's an office filing cabinet, but it is just more storage for our kitchen. In here, we have like extra, like our Instant Pot and things like that, and then we also have um, serving wear. So one thing I would absolutely say when you're looking for furniture is don't always just look at like their intended purposes. Like think about other things like a filing cabinet can turn into a sideboard. You just never know. This is from Artimity or Alessi. I can't remember. My mom got me. My mom actually bought this for herself and then it didn't fit. So I actually, <laughs> I got it, which is great. Welcome to our kitchen. Um, obviously nothing's changed in here. This is what it's looked like since we moved in. They did the reno. We didn't pick all this stuff, but one thing I do want to change eventually is this backsplash because I want to do something a little bit more mid-century. It's not terrible, but it's just not really my style. I want something more like grid-like. Um, we did change the fronts of these because before they were like the glass covered ones and you could see things inside and I felt like it looked a little messy. The good thing is that this kitchen is Ikea so it wasn't very expensive for us to like change it around. But other than that, it's pretty much the same in here. Moving on. Welcome to our staircase. We have one, two, three, four, five stairs. And I actually did the, um, we did the runner ourselves. Um, I got this carpet from H&M Home. Honestly, it's not holding up super well. Um, I think we're going to have to replace it at some point. Like we definitely should do something a little bit more hardy. That's the thing about homeownership and DIY. Everything's like a test. <laughs> Welcome to our bedroom 
pretty much the same since you guys saw. Most of our furniture in here is from EQ3. The only thing that has really changed is the rug, which I actually got on a West Elm sale. We haven't honestly done much in this room. Um, one thing I like about it though is that it relatively stays the same. Ever since we lived here, our room has never really been messy. Like the messiest it gets is that we don't make our bed, but we're pretty good at making our beds, so it doesn't get super messy. <laughs> but yeah, Dylan's closet's on the other side. We still haven't added doors. It's just, it is what it is. This is the only room that doesn't have something thrifted or vintage. So I think we're gonna have to find something. Matthew's used mom dresser. That's not vintage. <laughs> and I would like something, you know? And your I feel new like. addition is the. Uh... Oh, <laughs> yes. One thing we love to do that one here is watch TV. Um, I don't really want a TV in our bedroom and also like what wall we put it on. I feel like it'd just be kind of an eyesore. So we do use our anchor projector. It's the size of a pop can. I mean, obviously it's a pricier item. It's more expensive than an inexpensive TV, but you can carry it around everywhere. Like we can travel with this if our Airbnb doesn't have a big TV. Goes onto our tripod. You can watch like Netflix. I've been doing that at least four times a week. <laughs> <laughs> Fits on my nightstand. Like your TV can't do that. Moving on. We painted this ourselves. Um, I think honestly, we'll probably put something else here at some point. <laughs> We're on a budget and I really want something to fill this space. So that's why we did this. But I love that it's not like a generic piece of art. I love that Dylan and I took an afternoon and did this together. It's not my best work, but you know. So here's our beautiful rest of our hallway. Um, we have a really big spacious hallway. On one side, we have a linen closet. This side, we have this Besta unit. It's from Ikea. Um, we've had it since our apartment. I actually got this pre-owned. And the great thing about buying um, Ikea furniture pre-owned is that it's already assembled. Like so much less of a headache to assemble things. And then on here is some art that we've either collected or been gifted or bought ourselves. So I, well, I made this. <laughs> I made this. Everything's an Ikea frame. We have my YouTube plaque and then we have the new print, which is actually upside down. We have the new print um, from Hawaii that we found in a little gallery, which I think is really special. Um, and then our bare bricks. So just kind of a mishmash here. Eventually I would love to have like actual hanging art. Like right now it's just, it's just a work in progress. That leads me to our bathroom. Nothing special, you guys can look at it, but it was, it, it was renovated when we got in here. So we haven't done a single thing except maybe added a, a different towel bar. And then um, it's the same stuff from the apartment. In here, we changed it a little bit. Um, it's definitely eclectic in here right now because of the pillowcases. <laughs> These are made from vintage textiles. I made them into pillowcases, both sets. Artwork is from HomeSense. And then the bedding is all very miscellaneous. The rug was actually in our bedroom and we actually swapped it out. So when I got the new rug, this rug came in here, but it's just so perfect. Like we call this the Hawaii room because it just reminds me of how I feel in Hawaii. It's just so tranquil. Dylan and I, neither of us actually, have slept in the guest room, which I guess is good. But also like, maybe one day we should sleep in here, just for fun. Why, why are you laughing? I mean, I guess so, yeah. Um, I thrifted that lamp. That was a Salvation Army find. And then on top is just a shade, like a basic shade from HomeSense. I like to call this kind of like our apartment graveyard almost, because it's so much random stuff from our apartment, but I'm glad that it has a second life in our guest room. And we're supposed to have a guest, but the guest isn't coming to tomorrow, so I have some time to prepare. Next up, this is my fashion room. It's so bright in here, which is super nice, but this is my closet. This is where I get dressed. This is where I make TikToks. This is where all my good ideas come. I have an actual like in-depth tour of my closet. Um, which is very nicely organized just by opening this one door. We're really lucky that I can basically dedicate a whole room to my closet. It's nice. I mean, no judgment at all, but like if I wasn't a YouTuber and I, and I didn't need to have this much like inventory, I probably wouldn't have a whole room. Maybe I'd have half, I don't know. But I would love a, I lo I'd love a chair in here. We haven't found the right one, but I think if I found something cool and vintage, then maybe it would fit in here. Downstairs is still a work in progress. Nothing's going on here. Literally nothing. Secret project over there. We'll talk about that when that's done. Here is our gym. I feel like this room has changed a lot within the last year. We've done like six different things about this. Like this is just a work in progress, honestly. Um, but I have like a vlog where I talk about my plans for the gym, where I want to paint the back of that black and then hang the mirrors. But I'm like thinking now like, oh, it'd be really cool to have um, like slats 
like little slats of wood and then hang the mirrors. I feel like that would look really luxe. Like we'd feel like we're in like one hotel. I never thought I'd be the type of girl that have a home gym because I don't work out. <laughs> But it's very, very helpful. It keeps us very healthy. I use this guy a lot. I'm actually surprised how much use we've gotten out of this because me, Dylan, my brother, my brother's girlfriend, like so many people look up and use this. And especially when gyms were shut down last year, we had a space to work out. So we were very, very grateful about that. And then, um, so this is like, I think like a family room office combo. Like I feel like a regular family would use it as such. Um, but this is our kind of office slash chill space. We don't ever work down here. There was like one week. <laughs> there was one week where we worked down here, but the good thing about it is none of this has gone to waste because we didn't buy a single thing for this place. We literally bought zero furniture for this space, which is great because then we can take that money. I feel, I, I feel like I'm in a therapist office. <laughs> uh, we, could, we could take that money and buy better equipment for the gym or like do other things like i feel like this room we're never going to spend a lot of money on but one thing that was a game changer though is the sofa this actually came from like my family home i actually bought this with my own money so it's not just like a hand-me-down it was mine and it actually works so well in this space it was so annoying to bring down here and the original plan was to have a projector down here so i could watch it there but that kind of changed when i realized how great it is in our bedroom so this is our desk. Um, this is from Structube. Uh, we used this as our we used this as our dining room table actually in the apartment, and then it became um, our office table when the office was there, and now it's here. I think realistically, even though we have two office chairs, which is great, we could both work down here. I don't think we would both sit here at the same time. Um, clearly, beside it, we have uh, more of our crap. <laughs> oh, I cut that out of this frame. <laughs> oh, we're just not using our space the best that it could be used. Like we have a huge closet. We just like haven't really fully figured out what would work for us. So everything in time, but I feel like for 12 months, 12 to 16 months later, we're not doing too bad. Like can kids walk by then? Some can, some can. I didn't walk till I was um, oh, like two cause I was really big. Like I think we're not doing too bad, but you know, considering, oh, the only thing I did spend money on is the rug because I love a good rug. And I must say, I think it really did tie the place together. I have no regrets buying this rug. It was a little expensive. It was from HomeSense, but it was actually not bad for the size actually, but it really just tied it together. I hope you guys enjoyed our house. I honest, this is honestly how we live. <laughs> um, I could have made it actually a lot cuter than it was, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll definitely have like a nicer, full on tour when other things are done, but this is its current status. Status? This is its current status. I hope you guys enjoyed this and subscribe if you want more home videos. Bye everybody.